Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, what's the best natural gut? Well, I only got one guy that constant, constantly, consistently plays with natural gut and keeps asking for it again and again on the main, just like Fed. It's Patrick. Stay tuned. Hey, Coach Chris. Hey. You string tennis rackets? That's right. We'll make a little extra cash. Sure. You know with direct tennis, you can be the official stringer of your own neighborhood. You can set the distance, you can set the meeting place, and you can set the timing. So I can string on a street corner? You can set your own place. It's all at direct tennis where they put players with stringers and stringers with players. Check them out at directtennis.online. Link is below. Okay, so Patrick's with me today. I have his four modded up feds. And what I did was he picked Enzo Pro as his favorite cross, but he also asked me for one poly that he wanted to try. Uh, I told him that I would originally do all Enzos, but I did one of the crosses with what he asked for. If you watched that video, you would know what he asked for. Do you remember what you really? asked for? <laughs> I didn't know that. Hold on. What did I ask for? Oh, I think I know what I asked for. What did you ask for? Wait, I asked for Enzo Pro. Oh, ones. Oh, Silico 18. You, you got Silico it. 18, 18. That's correct. Uh, I got to rethink now. So I, I hit. Was... So here's the thing. I. So now he's thinking about it because it's been undercover. Oh, I didn't even know this. A secret for the last three weeks. I did these rackets and I handed it to him three weeks ago. So Enzo Pro is the cross on three of them. Two of them has natural on the main. The third has Babolat VS16. Okay. And the fourth one has Luxalon 130 natural. Okay. All right. So interesting. Because you told me, yeah, the guts are different except for two of them. Correct. So I was like trying to feel that out. But the fact that one had Silico 18 on it, I got to think about which one had Silico Let me show you what I did, though. Um, I strung them up and I put labels on them, but then I covered them with some black tape on each one. Patrick then numbered them himself just so that he was keeping track of right. what's going on. So that was number two. This is number one. This is number four. Okay, sorry. This is number four. And then this is number three, okay? So we won't know until I take the black tape off now. Right. Um, I numbered them at random because you just gave me the all four. Mm -hmm. and I just went one, two, three, four. Right. But yeah, I had no, no I got to think about this now. Okay. Oh. So you said you thought two of them were the Wilson guts. Yep. And which ones did okay, you? Okay, so my view just somehow by crazy random i think one and two are the same gut so here's number two okay i believe one here's two, but number now one. i don't want to look close at the cross strings because now i don't even know about the swing toe okay, okay so one and two you said one and two are the same one and two are the same is my vibe why did you think one and two are the same because they felt the same okay like in my hand they felt the same okay like when i if i would go by the, the numbers that i wrote i would say the two felt the close to the same. And I was fighting with it because what are the odds that one and two are the same? Because I, I numbered them randomly. So I went to go one and two is the same, and then three and four, we can talk cool. about how I felt. Cool. Do you want to know what number one is? Well, you will, should we open this one too? Or <laughs> okay, well, well, okay, what's let, number let, one? Let's take our time. Yeah, with this. I feel <laughs> I so. feel one and two are the same. So I would say it's a feeling I like. So I'm going to say number one was Wilson. Okay, number one was Wilson. Wilson and Enzo. Okay, okay. So you're used to feeling... One for four. Okay, so you're, feel, you're used to feeling the, the nice feel of the natural. Wilson, yeah. 
Natural gut. I don't want to look at the cross strings now because I'm going to be a fool. Now, let me see. Now, see, what are the chances that I actually numbered blindly one and two being multiple? But I'm going with what I feel. So, will this this be be Wilson and Salinko? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Wilson and Salinko. Look. Wilson but it's Salinko. I'm going to show you. See, Salinko so they, they thought the same. And then let, let's show them. Let's show them, actually. I, I, I don't want to just whatever. I don't want to just say, hey, he's right. So, you know. <laughs> I know yeah, it's a little windy a out here. Trick. I know it's a little windy out here, guys. Sorry. So, look. Okay. Natural <laughs> and Enzo. All right. So, at least what I feel in my hand is I, I got to trust. Maybe I don't have. Oh, this is. Uh, maybe I don't have as a. Uh, sensitive fingertips as Jared's, but that that makes me feel good. Okay, two. you were right. right on the gut. But I didn't know the Solinko. You know, those two felt really, really nice, really close together then. Okay. So I like the Enzo Pro, like we were talking about, because it had a little firmer, it was firmer than Alu. Mm-hmm. And then I felt Solinko 17 was too firm. Okay. So I, you know what? If people want to try, I think Solinko, the Solinko 18, and Enzo Pro are really, really similar. right there. So okay. I don't know how you would pro and con them other than what durability or something or color. I think that'd be a tough question. Yeah. I mean, given because that, I that felt completely the same to me in a sense. Okay. I mean, so, they're on the firmer side. So yeah, yeah. that makes the total sense. Yeah. That they're but I don't know why. I think I like the Enzo Pro more just because maybe that Slinko 17 was just a little too too rough in my hand but then the 18 you couldn't tell now i couldn't tell okay so maybe those are right right up there right there nice okay. job all right okay what, so now what were the so, other two brands so three was that ba- babylon and babylon. the other one was luxalon luxalon actually makes gut guys um, which i didn't know which i they to my to me they were making them in belgium for a while um in the luxalon factory and then now they've outsourced it or they might have a um they might own a factory in, uh, I think it's Ireland, guys. I got to double check that package, but I think it's Ireland. There's a lot of sheep in Ireland, isn't there? <laughs> I'm going to guess. Goats, yeah. anybody? Goats All right, too? so <laughs> Babylon and Luxalon. All right. Now, you, last time we had a meal together, you kind of spilled a little bit of the beans saying that I would feel that Babylon was soft. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Right. But before we had that meal, I was thinking Babylon was number four. Oh. Only because it felt snappier. It felt there was a little, it felt coated. Let's see what three is that you chose. So that means this Ooh, would be Luxalon? This is Luxalon. This is the Luxalon. <laughs> um, see? <laughs> this is the Luxalon gut. All right, maybe maybe my fingertips are as sensitive as Coach Jared. <laughs> the only so, reason. Well, so this is stiffer then. You were saying. No, 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 no. The number four was, number four was a little was snappier and stiffer. Really? Like, like number four felt like there was a coating to it. So you said so the Babylon. You're saying I would I would in my mind just from my history with Babylon and the way it strings, Babylon should be softer than Luxalon. So well, what me. it what it felt like. Uh, I would say I was most noticeable on first hit when it was mm-hmm. freshly strung. That felt, you know what? This makes sense. I, I didn't know why I didn't think about it. Remember when I tried that black Babylon gut? Mm-hmm. That was definitely closer to that. Okay. It felt that it was, a uh, keep saying it would want to be coated because you know how I don't really like poly on poly feeling, mm-hmm. that plastic feeling? Mm-hmm. It felt like that. It had a real, like a, a, cr- a crunchy snap to it, which wasn't Number bad. <laughs> It wasn't bad, but it just had that little feel. Yeah, but we remember we thought it was because it was black and, and it was, it was an extra color. Yeah, it was the dye yeah. or something, but yeah, that, that had that form. same same little feel. Not as much, but it had that. And when it came to this one, softer isn't the word. It's more like it's very smooth feeling. Like I hate to say that Luxalon's luxurious, <laughs> but it had a it had a very like a like even the sound had a little like like a firmer, smooth. higher pitch noise. No. Perhaps no. Yeah, I'd have to think about the pitch. No, it was sharper. It didn't feel sharper. Hmm. This one felt sharper in my hand. Interesting. Again, going back to musician, right? right? So I think the sensitivity in my hand is more about what I feel when I play bass versus what I do with the tennis ball because I hit the frame, you know, forty percent of the time. <laughs> so who knows? But it, it was there's a smoothness to it. 
So do you prefer the Lux or do you prefer the Babolat if you had to choose and the Wilson wasn't an option? I, I would I'd say I'd have to keep playing with it, but my vibe would go to Lux alone. Really? Okay. I don't know why what it is about the Babylon shrink. I love the Babylon shrink. Because you know what? All four played really well. And I was rotating through them. And I'm like, all of these are nice. But yeah, it just had a it had a, a snappy feel. Was it noisier? It wasn't noisier. It just had it feels it just felt I, I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of like Okay, if we take the regular Wilson, mm-hmm. and, real, and I know that feeling, there's a little springiness to it, mm-hmm. a little more, I, again, I go back to the word boing. You're right. Right? This one has the feel of the boing, but it doesn't have that, that vibration of a boing. Oh, so after the bar releases, it doesn't resonate as yeah, much. Yeah, it's more like a, but Got you it. still feel it make that spring action. This one just felt tighter. Like, like I want to, it's not firmer. It just the, the boing was snappier. That's why I felt like it was felt like it was a coated shrink because it felt like more like that black one. So the, the way you're describing it to me, this it sounds like this the Babylon is stiffer. See, I want to call it stiffer, but yeah, I, and and the only the only thing I can think of is I really feel like there's some kind of weird coating on it. Hmm, interesting. There's just something on here because when you, when you hear it, like. Like the the, my, the biggest annoyance to me with full bed of poly is that plastic on plastic sound, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it, it sounds it's a, it's a it's a off pitch. It's not a whole note. So this one feels like that. But all of them had great action. Got it. Right. All of them had great action, and they felt fantastic. But I just yeah, when I went to the one and two, I was fighting with myself because I'm like, what are the odds I numbered one and two to be the same? And but I just went with my Got a pun intended right. and proof positive, right? I mean, I'm surprised that I actually picked right. Okay. Cool. I mean, and really, this could have gone 50 50 between Luxalon and Babylon. I'm only saying four was Babylon because it reminded me of that black Babylon shirt. Got it. Got it. Even though. And that was a while ago. Yeah, but it just, it, uh, yeah, uh, if anyone's played with the Babylon string, that definitely comment because I don't know how to describe it. I'm but looking just, at the wear pattern on these two. You definitely wore out the Babolat more. I mean, I don't know if that's the string letting right. the 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 ink out or what, but the Luxalon wear pattern is still pretty intact. Like you can tell by, you know, like the the red color of the oh, ink yeah, right here. here definitely. Yeah. And you know what? Not to go back to that black Babolat mm. string, but same thing. That thing frayed a lot faster. Than the Wilson gut. Yeah, these the wear patterns on all the huh, the Wilsons and the Babolat um, are similar. The Luxalon is the only one that isn't the ink isn't being whacked off as easily, which is yeah. I definitely, I definitely, you know, because I, I I was able to get in a lot of just hitting sessions, so I was definitely going through the rotation, mm-hmm. making sure I hit everything as as equally as I can, and I played what. Uh, five matches i played like five matches and i did try to flip them i did try to flip them during the matches because i was just saying let's, let's just go for it right so i don't know if any of them have longer play than the other right you know it's not a direct science neither yeah. is my feel right? right from me stringing these uh on my you know just how they felt in my hand um Babolat's usually on the softer side when i string it uh, it's a little easier to kind of bend and mold. The Wilson is a, little, a hair firmer, which is easier to string in my mind. Um, the Luxalon one is stiffer. Like it's wound really tight too um, a, around the spool. So when when you start letting it out, it wants to like hurry up and straighten out as much as it can. Like it, so much that it wants to wound upon each other because the first time i i took it out of the package and cut the thing it i kind of start letting it go and it started spinning off of each other and then like literally wrapping it around each other it was like a mess it was like a mess so and i had to like kind of ease it out um, and it took me literally 20 minutes to ease it back out because so it was just wound so tight luxalon is wilson company Correct. They're so, they're a Wilson, I think, owned company. I yeah. think. So um, you know, really, what what would be the difference between the Wilson Luxalon gut, other than maybe price? 
Yeah, but Wilson's made so weird. Like I said, the weird thing is the well from what the packaging says, the Wilson red packaging says made in Belgium, and that's Luxlon's factory. But the Luxlon package said made in Ireland, <laughs> which cheap cut. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. They're using a different animal, um, other than a cow. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, no, I hmm. maybe that's maybe I got a little bit of lamb in that one. That's why it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but you fooled me with the Salico. Yeah, like I seriously, I'm gonna have to go back and hit because I I can't say I felt a difference. Really? And maybe it's a mental thing because maybe the percentage of difference is so. Hmm. close now that you can't really tell i mean i should have looked closer i i tried not to look at you don't need to read it you just need well, to feel Salico it is darker <laughs> right it's darker than oh. Enzo pro yeah see yeah it is see now if i really wanted yeah i tried really hard not to even look at the strings and read any you know but i i didn't i didn't know it was two different crosses i wouldn't have known yeah. so oh. i'm gonna have to go back and really focus on that let's re let let keep hitting with it and then um, we'll go out and I'll hit with it. Yeah. And let me see if I can describe what you're trying to tell me and tell us. Yep. Because I think a lot of you have the same thing. When you say stiff, you think of a different word. You think of um, just something that's not stiff when you're talking about a racket or a string. Right. Uh, and then when you say soft, I think some people are referring to actually it being firm. So I think sometimes we have those words confused and, you know, it, 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 a way everybody uses the word stiff very leisurely in the game of tennis because, you know, there's no other way to describe a racket or describe how a string feels. Like very rarely does anybody say, oh, that's so soft or that, that's, right. you know, that, that's sloppy. I mean, I, I'm one of the few people that <laughs> use sloppy. those words. So, but, um, yeah. Well, I mean... I, just think about the word soft. I mean, what, for four years now, I described something and we know that my words aren't correct. Mm -hmm. Like just on that last review when we were talking about uh, Tour Bite, I was saying, oh, this racket feels soft. But as you hit it, you're like, well, that's like a way more powerful mm -hmm. feeling. Right. So soft is actually more string movement. Correct. I'm looking at it as in soft, which people might think as sloppy or floppy or kind of dead. Right. But it's not the case. It's actually more powerful. So right. it's really about knowing what words that each other knows. Right, so, exactly. And so, we still haven't figured it out. <laughs> so so you're telling me that gut's gut no matter what name you put on yeah. it but in terms gut, of these three. Well, now there's going to be different because Luxalon's going to be lamb gut in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But yeah, so the, all, all of these play really nice. And like I said, I wouldn't want to give that up. But you could feel, I did feel a little difference between the Luxalon and Babylon compared to what I've been playing. Got it. Wilson. Okay. All right. So next time I play with you and let's see what I feel. Um, but as far as you think, you can live with either one of the three of them. Yes. I would, well, if I had my choice of them I would, and I couldn't pick the Wilson, I think I would go with Luxalon first. Okay. Yeah. yeah, still Wilson family though. Yeah, okay. I mean, okay. I mean the Babylon maybe after it wears down a little bit. Yeah, because mm. I do like it after the broken in. I'm so, so interested now to see what he's feeling. I we haven't had a time to to play because you know I'm having some back issues. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, that that one that that's the outlier really. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you, Patrick, for sharing your thoughts on uh, natural right. guts. <laughs> and he was right. Four <laughs> out of four. <laughs> and I went against what you said, because when you told me Babla was softer, I should have said, oh, Babla is number three. But I, I, pun intended. I have, stuck to to my gut. I have to feel this now. I really yeah, do. I'm telling you. Okay. Two weeks later, I'm feeling a little bit better. My back is in this tight. You know, that thing called a piriformis is bothering me. It's from too much, well, actually, it's from not enough. Well, I don't know what it is, but whenever I sit down, my back don't like it. Um, I blame the eye doctor. I had to sit like this for like an hour, pressing a button. Little light blink here, light blink there. All I could see is straight ahead go ding, 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 ding. But don't go crazy on that light because you'll, you'll fail.
anyway enough about that uh you know you know patrick i think i missed my calling you know a lot of you guys actually said you should play with the pro staff roger federer yeah i damn I you, you hit pretty well <laughs> <laughs> you just throw the racket at the yeah, ball you had me and running. it goes yeah but the subject of this is actually not what i should have played with but um the guts the differences in the guts so number one with the wilson gut and the enzo uh felt like what it's supposed to feel like nice and plush nice and soft right. just like what i would think that a combo like this should be um, it absorbed well it shot it right out of there i was i had a lot more shape with number one i was easy it was easy to control the shape more like it it had more jump on it it had more um you know easy clearance over the net i was able to control that a lot more um, and somewhat keep it in too so number one yeah. and is plush is and that what I yeah think. that was the one the reason why we liked enzo pro or i liked enzo pro was because I felt like it was a touch firmer than Alu, mm -hmm. but it seems the durability lasted a little longer. Because mm -hmm. I was like six, seven weeks in with the Enzo Pro, and it was Toro or it was or Multi. Mm -hmm. It was one of those past ones. Yeah. And I liked the Enzo Pro feeling. Interesting. Okay. It was a little firmer than Alu, yeah. but it lasted longer. Right. So we said, okay, let's look at that setup, and it feels great, right? It feels just like champs. Yep. It held. Right? It held tension. You yeah. could tell on this. I would say, hit. if anything, it feels a touch firmer on miss hits, okay. which is about 62% of my balls. Right. You can even tell on this last cross, it's still holding tension. Yeah. Which is interesting. It's probably why I like it. So, this number one, number one, is probably uh, my favorite of the four. Number two is really close, though. Number two, yeah. which is the, uh, the uh, Wilson gut still, but with the 18 gauge confidential right. um it wasn't quite as plush as number one i felt like it was just a smidge firmer smidge firmer i still got the shape i wanted but um it forced me to flatten out the ball a little bit a little bit i felt like number one i had rainbows i wanted to do rainbows and it was easy to do rainbows and have it drop my rainbows got a little shorter with this one not much though like a foot and, and I was able to hit through the ball really well, and it felt really good. Um, I think it's the confidential biting a little more. Because mm -hmm. you fooled me on this when I did, when we did the first test, because I wasn't paying attention. So now, two weeks after, I was like focused, trying to do a blind test between one and two. Mm -hmm. And the difference is on the miss hits. Mm. Just like this and Alu, the miss hits feel a little firmer when you miss with this. Yeah, it but wasn't... when you hit square in the middle, they felt identical. They felt nice, but mm -hmm. this has that little confidential ping. Yep. If anyone who plays confidential, there's a little yeah, high little... pitched end to the sound. It's a little and firmer. Yep. I didn't. I seriously, I, I didn't notice playing because I was just excited to try try to guess the gut, <laughs> and I thought, oh, this these play great. But then after further, almost blindfolding me, picking blindly, you could tell that just has a little ping at the end. Right. So it's a, it's a sound thing for you. Yeah. I think it's a it's a height and launch thing for me. Yeah. That that's that's slightly different. Um, number three though, number three felt like something like a blast from the past to me, like like how gut felt in the eighties. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but it it felt um, I don't want to say mushier, but it felt like it, it absorbed it a little bit better, but not in a Wilson way. It, it felt like it was um, kind of, you expected it to be a little livelier, but it was a little softer, which is interesting to me. It absorbed it very well. So that's why I'm, I'm thinking of something that's from the 80s and the 90s when I first tried gut. It is what, so it, it, it kind of has a, has a, old home feel is all i could describe it as it's good though but it didn't quite launch as high or as much as number one and number two but it's softer in in certain aspects uh, and again number one was high number two is here number three even got lower 
see I, now see this is this is what we were talking about how I think I use the wrong words to describe things to you so in about five more years you'll figure out when I say something stupid you'll ah he doesn't he doesn't know what he's <laughs> no, talking no. about because mushy is the right word I would use mm -hmm. for the Luxalon to me oh. it felt the softest which as you said in turn the strings aren't necessarily looser but they spring more because it's supposed to be pocketing more so you're saying but I couldn't control it so you, I think oh it's too powerful so but this is Babylon not. Right. No, this is Luxalon. Number three is Luxalon. Number three is Luxalon. Yeah, see, that's why that's why it was thrown. I mean, we talked about this after the two weeks ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> two weeks ago, we had this debate too. Yeah. Yeah, Luxalon is the softer, and I was surprised at it. Oh. But it's softer in terms of, as I said, Luxalon is luxurious. It has a. It feels like it's a car on airbags. Okay. That's what it feels like, and that's the softness you're feeling. But I couldn't. My, my myself, I couldn't control it. Interesting. Like, it, it, you know, you were saying, okay, the when it's looser. Oh, it is looser. Yeah, if it's looser, you say when it's looser, it can get softer, right? When But then looser doesn't necessarily equate to more power. Right. So, to me, it's looser, but not in the springy, powerful way. But okay. it has a soft ride to it. Got it. You know, that's airbags for sure. Airbags. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. But see? not, it's still, it's still when oh I, no, it still plays. When plays. I got to three, I'm like, this is still gut. Yeah. I could still feel the see, gut I in didn't, it though. I, 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 was too, I, I think I, I think I definitely need a little feedback so I know when I miss it or not. Mm -hmm. And this had this, like, I guess that term plush that if I miss it or didn't miss it, I didn't know the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that feeling because the ball either goes the right way or doesn't. And then, I'm looking where the ball goes instead of waiting for the next ball. Right. I like the feeling. I like the feeling of hitting and you knowing I missed it, knowing I have to set up differently because I know I didn't hit the ball I wanted to hit. Right. So number four is Babylon. Interesting, because that felt the firmest to me. That's what I'm saying. And it's that weird feeling, right? Now, if viewers remember the gut way back when you gave me the black Babylon mm -hmm. gut, mm -hmm. so there's something crunchy or and I guess stiff, but it mm -hmm. was in a crunchy way. Like, I don't know if it was the sound. It almost sounds like poly on poly to me when I hit it. Right. And that's what I'm not liking, even though it does play well. Yeah. But there's something in that in that feedback in my hand, whether it's like a sharp note right. or just the sound. It just didn't, it doesn't vibe well with me. I, I like, like what we said a two, couple of weeks ago, I thought it was the black color, maybe making yeah, right. it firmer. The dye and the, yeah. yeah, but this, out of the four that we have, this felt the firmest, which is interesting. I, you know, in my recollection, you know, I would have thought three was Babylon in my recollection. Right. That's we were talking, you were saying that, you were saying yeah. that was going to be the softest of the yeah. bunch, but it, it wasn't the case when mm -hmm. I was hitting them. So I was just like, That's really? And I'm like, yeah, that, that, you know, when we, when we had the bite and you were telling me that, I yeah. almost wanted to change my mind when I first said, these are the one, two, three, four, but I'm glad I stuck to my guns or... Mm -hmm. Trusted yeah, my guy. I had to try it. <laughs> I had to try it. So here's the inter let me let me check wear patterns here. Oh yeah. So this has we... been yeah. This has been what almost five weeks. Yeah. Number one seems to be pretty good, pretty worn. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like you're you're good in that center line, that center line of a W. Number two looks like you use one more than two, maybe. Well, to, to be oops, oops to be right. honest, um, I had a couple of matches because the new season, the new USTA season, season started, and I was rotating on the matches with one and two only. Okay. But I did try to get my hitting sessions in to try all four as Three. much as I could. But I would say one and two is the most worn. Yeah, four looks the least. Yeah, that's the <laughs> one I didn't like. I don't know what four it is. I, you know, I hate you know. You hear players talk about, oh, once you went with head, you'll never feel yeah. any other racket. Or once you go Wilson, and that's, you know, you'll never change, you know. Well, Roddick changed his mind, right? Now he's with Wilson. Coach Rob will never change his mind, right? right? right. Jared's going to change every four weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say number two, and I would say if I were to say what has the most play, I think it's two, one, three, four. So number two, I play, has the most okay. has the most play in it. So that's that's your favorite. That's your order of picking too then right you yeah you know what I, there's something about this Selenko that i really like that little extra feel of the bite right whether it's not getting more bite got it it feels like i am got it. but i want to see how my arm lasts because you know like i said the mishits do feel firmer than number one 
but number one by far is that's that's the one to beat. And right. I'm trying to see if Salinko 18 beats it. Yeah. No, I like number one the yeah. most out of all of these. I it mean, just they go like... Salinko 19? Uh, that Confidential they 19? They don't make yeah, a 19. See, I like to go four by 19. See, and anyway, I didn't like that. Okay. It, got, it got too too soft. Right. Right. So this, yeah, well, I think we'll, we'll go on this for another few weeks and see how we go. Okay. All right. So my favorite is one. Your favorite is probably one, two, then. It's one, it's two. one and I've, I've seen if Salinko's going to knock it off. Okay. Because, like right. I said, you surprised the heck out of me with this because it does they play really great, but after really testing, this one just little firm on the miss hits. I don't know if my arm wants to deal with that after two hours, three hours. You know? Well, you got to hit the center, man. I never hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 40% 40, 40 of the time would be success. All right, Patrick. Well, thank you for doing this test with me. Thank you for letting me mess with your rackets. Um, yeah, that's great. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.